Hey, what's going on guys? So yeah, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we will be looking into how to insert new keys and values into a dictionary using for loops. And then we will also be learning how to access a value using that specific key. So yeah, we will basically build a small program where we ask the user to input three fruits and then price of those three fruits and then we will store those in a variable or uh, in a dictionary and then we then gonna ask the user again to name any one of those fruit and then depending on that name we're going to display the price of that fruit so yeah let's get started so first let's define the empty dictionary so in this case let's name it store and since it's empty we will just use these curly braces now since we're gonna run it three times for three values. So we're gonna write for i in range, and then it's gonna be three. So if you want to run it more than three, basically if you want to run dynamic time, so basically you can have another variable storing the number of times you wanna run. So you can basically ask the user for how many fruits he has, and then depending on that, you can run the loop that many times. So yeah, in this video, I will be just running it three times. So first, let's make a variable fruit to store the name of those fruits. So input fruit name, okay? And then for the price, let's store the price in this price variable. Input, oh gosh, I can't type. Fruit price, okay? Wait, let's make it a bit more dynamic. Let's write f string and then let's write here price of and then the fruit the user just gave. Okay, so if the user gives five uh, or mango or or like whatever he wants, uh, let's say he gives mango, so it's gonna say price of mango, something like that. So it's gonna run three times and then each time we're gonna store these two value in store fruit and then this price yeah so that's it for this now we're gonna ask the user for any name of the fruit so rec input price of the fruit and then it's gonna get the fruit name of which price we want to know and then depending on that it's going to print saying store and then use this right back that's basically it for this now let's run and let's see fruit name mango price of mango 12 apples 14 pears this so price of the fruit which fruit let's say mango it gives 12. so yeah that's basically it for this video hope you learned something new so yeah meet you guys in the next video if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you like the video please like the video and yeah thanks for watching